Hey guys, it's me Cory and today I'm gonna share with you a very interesting video because I was actually looking for a video of the Kaweco Classic Sports Clutch Pencil but it's very rare and it's maybe very outdated for some so in today's um, short clip I hope <laughs> I'm gonna share with you why I love this pencil and it's just in general mechanical pencil versus clutch pencil so it's just for for some who are not familiar with clutch pencil and also I have a backstory for this why I have two I'm gonna uh, share it with you quickly so I was already been I mean I've been using mechanical pencil for so long and these are my favorite these two so just a quick one this is from Muji I've had this for five six years already i bought this in dubai for so long and this one is the recent acquisition um it's the kakuyu one uh japanese i think or taiwan i'm not sure but the difference with these two uh is are that uh, it's 0.5 millimeters the, the the lead pencil here and the kakuyu one is 1.3 so it's a little bit broader than the thinner one of Muji so these are my two go-to mechanical pencils now let's talk about clutch pencil so these are both Kaweco clutch pencils I have and I actually purchased this in the beginning this first one which have some designs in the body this is made of a um, lightweight exceptionally lightweight ABS mufflon plastic made in germany because kaweco and the other one i just added a clip here the other one is the plain one both are classic sports code i think this is, comes with another design with the checks but yeah i initially ordered this and this was a replacement okay the story goes like this i didn't know or knew anything about clutch pencils in the beginning and i was i was trying to i was thinking it was the same one with my um the same mechanism with my ballpoint that you can just you know do some <laughs> pushing and then the lid will come out so okay it's the same but when i want to refill it so i fully remove this and i want to put a new one it broke from the time i unbox it it's already broken so you know that's the saddest part because i am very ignorant and i didn't know and i really really fought with the, with with my will that it was not stated to not open this and stuff and i checked the care guide and it was not there so the seller handwritten pen shop was kind enough to communicate that to kaweko and kaweko eventually sent me a new one so I have two guys for free. That's how how much Kaweco um, customer service is very very good. Because I didn't even enjoy this much. It is already broken. It, every parts of it. I'm gonna try to add a picture there if I can when I send the picture that it was broken. So just a warning for those of you who who are like me, <laughs> buying without researching about clutch pencils. I don't know way back in my college you don't do the math you will know how old i am we don't have this yet so we just have the normal uh hb or b pencils because i wanted to use this for my sketching and you know for a more thicker um writing so i mean drawing so this one is not a sketch up model guys there's a difference this is just a classic uh clutch pen with 3.2 millimeters um, lead pencil here okay the sketch up one has a 5.6 it's it's much more thicker and it has a brass version a silver that can also hold a kakimori nib brass nib or any nib so uh, i don't have that one i was curious why maybe it can fit my kakimori brass nib here but no it's different this is just the 3.2 millimeter uh, refill so the sketch up 
model is the much more thicker one and i think much more pricier because of the models um the body are brass silver and you know those uh, heavier ones but to me it's a good feeling if you write it with those metallic one but in the long drawing time it's getting not not comfy in my hands so i was already falling in love with this uh, clutch classic sport and when i receive a new one voila so i have this also the refill ones because uh, it's very, diff very difficult to buy them individual i mean i don't think you can get that so i just together purchase them and yeah so maybe i can show you um the thickness of this compared to my mechanical pencils let's just check so if, i know you are maybe here for fountains and videos but let's just try something different today so let's go from the thinnest to the broadest yeah so this is my mechanical pencil from muji so i normally write this or use this in my journaling when i want to rough sketch before i watercolor them so muji 0.50 uh, yeah 0 0.5 millimeters mechanical so for this it's very easy to get the refill guys anywhere any brand faber castell any brand you can use so this is the muji very thin okay that's the uh, mechanical pencil so for mechanical pencil i hardly use them for you know heavier drawings this is just for my journaling and you know drafting where i will put the pictures sometimes that's how i use it let's go for my kokuyu one which is a little bit more thicker okay this is where i i used to do my sketching i have my other journal for sketching so this is the kokuyu if you can see it's much more thicker and broader now 1.3 mm so if you're familiar with hb pencil stagler i think this is quite comparable so this is again a mechanical pencil so both mechanical and clutch pencils are uh, retractable you can adjust the length however when refilling once again warning you have to refill the clutch pencil from under not removing this at all or you will become like me it's broken totally useless so that's the difference with it, both mechanical and clutch the refilling system now these are both the same with 3.2 um 3.2 lead refill so this is the kaweko kaweko whatever you call it um classic sport clutch pencil now this is the 3.2 this is my thickest uh, refill okay so normally this is not for my daily writing this is for sketching so let me just show you how it is it's not that super black like the charcoal ones but as you can see with the line difference as well i forgot to put for the kukuyo actually these two are <laughs> very very similar and the only down uh, points for the kukuyo clutch pencil is that you can play around with the lines adjustments yeah the, the difference with the kukuyo one i mean sorry the kaweko one is you have to get a separate sharpener for this but what i do is because the it will become rounded there and not sharp so what i'm doing with mine is i just sharpen them you know traditional going sideways adjusting it rotating it so you can have a sharpener sharpened tip so that's it for my clutch pencil so do i have to get the sketch up one which is the sketch up one is a double the boldness of this pencil um for now not yet 
I'm happy with what I have. I have two already. Thank you, Kaweco and Handwritten Pen Shop. <laughs> I have two. And um, yeah, so these are my two go-tos as well. So let me know if you also uh, have or wanting to get a clutch pencil from Kaweco. And they have other designs and colors just like the classic sports but i opt for black because this is for my these are for my drawings in my uh what do you call that art kit art pencil case so um they are also also easy to erase let me just show you this is my retractable eraser so for kawaii kosi although it's very thick and bold when you erase it, there is no, I mean, very minimal leftovers, okay? Unlike, unlike the other brands that when you erase, there is still some. So let's try to erase Muji one. So you see, it's also, you need to more, put more pressure when erasing the thinner pencil, obviously, the thinner lid. So yeah, I think that's it very soft smooth and easy to erase that's what i love about this Ka kaweko clutch pencil so yes i hope i gave you the idea uh, if you're looking to get some pencils not only fountain pens <laughs> and let me know if you already have and how you manage to sharpen them as well without using the separate one uh, sharpener for clutch sketch up pencils thank you so much guys for hanging out with me in today's very quick pencil review and um, i hope don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on my next one bye